So now we're going to move on to the final part of this little series, and that is taking responsibility for your life. Should be on the end of that. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's just taking responsibility, but taking responsibility for your life. So we've discussed, you know, changing unproductive habits and routines. We've talked about feeling stuck in ruts. And now we come to the end bit, which is taking the responsibility on board yourself. So I put this on Facebook today. Um, I'll probably be on the, on the website in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, about other people living your life for you. Yeah. Giving you, making the choices for you. Because as a kid, you know, not that, not that this is a bad thing at all. I, I, never, I had a brilliant childhood, but yeah. I was very pampered as a kid. I had everything done for me. I was very much the same, yeah. Mm. But it came to a point where it was like, now I have a choice. I'm not going to have everything done for me anymore. Mm. I can do, or I can choose to do everything myself or do everything that was done for me myself now. You took responsibility of that, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, but a lot of people, I think, are stuck in, in their ways of letting everyone do everything for them. Yeah. But if you tell someone that people are doing everything for them, like, no, I do everything myself, like, blah, 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 but they argue mm. against it, mm -hmm. and those are the people you can tell have everything done for them. they're insecure they're about it. Yeah, they're insecure yeah. about it. So, a great example of this is, like, when you go to college or university or whatever, it's like, mm -hmm. whose choice is that? If you ask any kid whose yeah. choice is to go to university, they'll yeah. say, oh, that's my choice. I'm like, yeah. is it, though? It's almost like, it was like a... Psych a psychological thing that they've convinced themselves it's their choice, but in reality, their parents or their school have psychologically convinced them to mm. go do that. That's does that make sense? Yeah, we're not saying yeah. we're not saying that everyone that goes to university is like psycho psychologically fucked by but their a, parents, but a portion of yeah, yeah. But it's like for me, like I went to college purely because um, my parents told me it would be a good, a better, a better thing to do. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, they're right in that. But the choice to go wasn't mine. Yeah. The choice to go was theirs. Right. And so you didn't take responsibility of that choice? Yeah. I was, yeah. what, 16? I didn't really want responsibility. A lot of yeah. people don't want that responsibility, you know? I ask a lot of people that are looking for jobs that say our age, and they won't take the responsibility to do more than what they have been doing. Yeah. So they've been told... I guess in, I guess in that respect as well, my first kind of experience with taking responsibility was when I was 16 as well, because... I did go to college and university, as you know, but I made the choice to go where I went and do what I did, which was music and which has led me to where I am now. Mm. So that was kind of my first, my first opportunity and my first experience with taking control and taking responsibility for something in my own life. Mm. So it's, it's a lot like, um, you know, what do people do? How do people get jobs? They hand out CVs. Yeah. That's what you're told in school. You're, oh, you hand out your CVs, right? Yeah. But no one ever tells you to go and speak to the manager firsthand. Yeah. All right. Why does no one ever do that? Because they haven't been told that they can do that. Yeah. So it's like, what have you been told that you can do? And no one ever told me that I could walk into a restaurant or something, be like, can I speak to the general manager? Mm -hmm. And then tell them, look, I'm looking for a job. That's a right to have. CV. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is my CV. Yeah. Like, I'm aware that I apply elsewhere, but I wanted to meet you in person. It's just that little bit of like initiative mm. is lacking because no one ever told us that we could have initiative. Yeah. We were told to take initiative, but we were never told we had it. Or how to. Or how to, how to do it. Yeah. So yeah. it's like doing that little bit extra can really help, you know, help you get out of the rut and help you take responsibility for yeah. your life now. Yeah. Because no one's going to come along and say he has a job. Or he has, you know, a thousand pounds. He has this, he has that. No one's going to do that anymore. It's now <coughs> up to you and up to us to do it ourselves. I would say as well, just to add on, I, I, like we're talking about take responsibility of your life, but to go along with that, take responsibility of your actions. Yeah. So kind of to tie into the three parts that we've talked about in this video, like taking responsibility of your actions to therefore... That'll, that'll, that'll tie in and affect having a productive routine or getting out of a rut because you have to take responsibility to do those things. Yeah. You have to take responsibility to go, right, I'm going to get out of this rut, right, I'm going to have a routine, I'm going to stick to it, I'm going to be productive. Yeah. And also, at the same time, be responsible for your actions. Like, if you do something wrong, that is going to have an effect on you, a negative effect. You have to take responsibility of that negative effect and deal with it. 
You know what I mean? It's like, I got myself in this hole, I'm going to get myself yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to exactly. put the blame on everyone else. Exactly. Because this was my problem, yeah. and I'm going to solve it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, exactly. so it's like, if you're, in a, if you're in a hole, chances are you put yourself there. In some way, shape, or form, you put yourself in that hole. Because, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm, in this, I'm in this shit because of my ex-partner. It's like, well, how much of what you Why does what someone now, always have to blame someone else? Because it's easier. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it was my ex, it was this, it was my mom, it was my dad. It's easier to put the blame elsewhere than to feel that pain of taking responsibility. It's easier to say, well, it was this person or this person. It's easier to say it was them than say it was me. I am where I am in my life now because of me, because of the choices that I have made. There's a lot of, there's a lot of that in, um, the TV show Breaking Bad as well. Mm. I love that show so much, but there's, there's things that he says, what's going on with me is not about some disease. Yeah. He says it's about choices, Mm. choices that I have made and stand by. Yeah. And what he means by that is he's basically, he's not, things that he's done is not caused by external things. It's not caused by his cancer and his Mm. disease. It's caused by choices that he has chosen to make. 100%. So he has taken that full responsibility and said, nothing external has influenced my choice. I have made this choice and taken responsibility for me. Mm. And that's what I love about that show. <laughs> There's a meaning behind that too, yeah. Exactly. There's a meaning behind, exactly. a meaning behind lots of TV shows. That's why I love them. Yeah. But it is. It is hard to. T- it is hard to take responsibility, especially if you're not used to it, because it'll piss you off. Because it, it, it's coming. It's coming to terms with all the shit that you've been like stuffing down and running from and hiding. Um, it's just I hate it. I hate taking responsibility, but I have to. Yeah. It's the worst part. It's like. It takes a level of maturity to do yeah. it as well, like, because it, it, taking responsibility is kind of, the first stage of that is when you're a teenager, because that is when you started to expect to do things for yourself and to kind of look after yourself to a certain extent and make mm. your own choices and stuff like Just that. adulting. Exactly, exactly, and that's your first steps with taking responsibility, but in life in general, there's always going to be a situation or a scenario or just... A personal thing where you have to always be responsible for your actions in your life and mm. say when you've done things right, say when you've done things wrong, be honest with yourself. And that's how you're going to get out of ruts, that's how you're going to get into a productive routine, and that's how you're going to succeed. Mm, definitely. If you can take 100% responsibility for your life and where it's at, then you can start to move forward. Because yeah. as long as you blame someone else, you look for someone else to also fix the problems that you're in. So you'll blame that person. Over yeah, there, that guy. Yeah, I'm over there. there. You'll, blame, you'll blame that bastard <laughs> for the hole you're in, and you'll look to this person to get you out of it. Yeah. But for every finger that you point at somebody else, there's three pointing back at you. In reality, you should be taking the blame and then looking to yourself to get out of it. Mm. Everything should come back to you. I think I think there's a there's a point there as well. Not to don't just take all the blame on you. Like don't just like I need blame. I need to feel bad. <laughs> I need to take all this. Like don't do that. Like be like be a bit logical. Yeah, about not what necessarily. Kind of yeah, exactly, like, exactly. Don't blame yourself for like the World War Three or whatever because it's just not going to happen. But what we're I mean? saying is like if something bad has happened, for example. And you could see that it was obviously something that you did or said that was the reason. Obviously, of course, in that situation, you take the blame, you take the responsibility mm. for it. If it's someone else's thing, then they have to take the responsibility for it. Mm. They have to take the blame for it. But, like, yeah, just a logical and not unrealistic situation. <laughs> one, of the, one of the best examples of this, and I'll always bring it back to this example because everyone can relate to it, is in a breakup in a relationship mm. where... You'll t- say you'll talk to one party, say you'll take t- talk to the guy, and all he'll do is slag her off. You go and talk to her, all she'll do is slag him yeah, off. Yeah, I know. There's no, exactly. like, mutual... It's like, well, it wasn't just one person that did, like, everything wrong. Yeah, It was a exactly. mix of things that like, you exactly. didn't do this, mate, and you didn't do this. So it's like... A relationship takes two. It's, 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 it's a team, tango, essentially, bro. right? Exactly, it takes two, right? So I don't understand... That's one thing I never really understand, to be honest, is, like, how those two people can be so like down the middle and one can go yeah that but the other one can go yeah that but it was clearly unless one partner in that relationship has like cheated or killed someone or did something really serious which obviously that the, they're there to blame then yeah. but if it's a general normal relationship that we're talking about fucking hell. <laughs> but if we're talking about a normal general everyday relationship if yeah. that breaks apart for normal reasons 
obviously 50% of it is theirs and 50% of it is theirs. Mm. So or at least, or like 60 40 70 30 but there's always blame on both sides it's Yeah, never exactly. 100% or 100%. No one no one's perfect in general. So how can you expect two people in a relationship to be perfect? One word. Ego. Yeah. You don't want to look bad. You don't want to you don't want to admit that you've done wrong. Again, it's easier it's easier to point the finger as well. So mm. yeah. you say well this person cheated on this person, right? Mm-hmm. And that say say the girl cheated on the guy, it's easy to you know be like, "Oh, it's a stupid girl, right? But what drove her to do that?" Did it, was he a dick? Was he an It's easier to do that than to say to yourself, I lost that girl because I did this. You know what I mean? Because I didn't step up or, yeah. you know, I lost that relationship. Didn't take or, responsibility yeah, I lost that relationship well. or I didn't, I lost the job because I didn't mm. take responsibility again. Another yeah, example. exactly, exactly. I lost the job because I didn't take responsibility for what I was doing in it. Mm-hmm. I didn't put the effort in that I should have been, you know. It's that responsibility yeah, covering definitely. actions that, it, that will make all the difference in, yeah, definitely. in, in moving forward. Okay, so that was series four of Life Discussions. We hope you enjoyed it and got some valuable information out of it. And don't forget to obviously like, share and subscribe and all that jazz. We'll see you in the next video.